Pokemon. What a guan. I am Mikael Marvin Samuels. Learn how to cook imported liver brown stew deliciously. Get one between two stalks scallion, two small or one medium sized onion, quarter inch piece ginger with skin, eight between one head garlic cloves, fresh French thyme on the stem the size of two fingers, one teaspoon basil flakes, one teaspoon rosemary flakes, rosemary leaves. You could use dried or fresh herbs. One teaspoon marjoram flakes. One teaspoon parsley flakes. Half teaspoon oregano flakes. Quarter between half teaspoon distilled white vinegar. I am using cider vinegar. You could use any flavored vinegar. Two between four tablespoons ketchup. 1 teaspoon browning, 1 tablespoon soy sauce, quarter teaspoon dried pimento berries, 2 tablespoons between quarter cup cooking oil, I am using coconut oil, 1 teaspoon salt, I am using sea salt, you could use quarter between half teaspoon salt more, 2 cups water. If you could get 2 limes, ripening or green limes. Use two tablespoons lime juice instead. One between two pounds imported liver. For the recipe, visit jamaicandinners.com, jamaicancookings.com. Get a coffee grinder. Gather herbal. Measure and put all the herbs one place. I'm using this plate. This is wild fresh basil. In Jamaica, we call it basil. Grind fresh or and dried herbs powder. Measure one teaspoon between one tablespoon rosemary leaves and then put the rosemary leaves in the coffee grinder. Measure half teaspoon marjoram flakes and then put it in the coffee grinder. Measure a quarter teaspoon of oregano flakes and then put it in the coffee grinder. Measure one teaspoon parsley flakes and then put it in the coffee grinder. Grind herbal for 40 seconds. Grind fresh herbs separate from dried herbs. Remember, you can use fresh or dried herbs. This is a perfect example. I'm using fresh and dried herbs. Put the dried herbal powder on the plate. If using fresh herbs, first wash it clean. Get a bowl. Add enough water into the bowl. Sprinkle several drops of distilled white vinegar. You could use salt instead. Wash herbs leaf clean and then rinse it with fresh water. Put herbs on a paper towel. Allow the water to drain. If you're in hurry, just flash off the water. Measure one teaspoon between one tablespoon basil flakes and then put it in the coffee grinder. Grind herbal flakes to herbal powder for 40 seconds. Put the fresh herb powder on the plate. If using fresh scallion, rip off the dying leaves. Chop the tip of the leaf that's dying and the root. As you can see, I don't have much scallion, if any. I wash my scallion before I freeze it. Wash the scallion's leaf clean. Get a bowl, add enough water into it, sprinkle several drops of distilled white vinegar in the water. This is regular spring time. We are using French thyme. So if you're using French thyme, don't use regular thyme. It's either or but don't use both. Wash thyme leaf clean rinse times leaf do this on the fresh running water this is demonstration put french thyme on the plate when you cook meat such as beef liver kidney stuff like those if you use the french thyme the meat will be more delicious than if you use spring thyme dice or slice onion Peel onion, remove just the brown leaf. Remember, the first layer of the onion is the strongest. Trim spoilage. Slice or dice onion. I like to slice the onion. Put sliced onions on the plate. Keep the vegetable seasonings on the plate separate. Chop scallion fine. Put chopped scallion on the plate. Peel garlic cloves. If you see spoilage, trim it. 
grind garlic to puree or mash it to pulp. Put mashed garlic on the plate. Prepared vegetables and herbs seasonings. Put this aside, go to the next step. When I cook meat, beef, liver, kidney, stuff like those, in natural cooking, I like to add the seasonings twice. Do like me. This is seasonings container one, and this is seasonings container two. Put French thyme in container one. Put half of each seasoning in each container. Divide the herbal and then put half in each container. If you don't want to use herbal, you could use a teaspoon between one tablespoon all-purpose powdered seasonings instead. Half garlic in container one, half garlic in container two. Put half onion in container one, half in container two. I'm going to dice and slice this onion and put it in container two. Put half diced scallion in each container. Put one teaspoon salt in container two. When cooking liver, it's best if you add the salt halfway cooking. Do not add the salt at the beginning. I was told that if you add the salt at the beginning, it's going to make the liver tough. You got to allow the liver to cook somewhat before you add salt. Put quarter inch piece ginger with skin in container one. Measure quarter teaspoon dried pimento berries and then put it in container one. This is seasonings one and this is seasonings two. Cover it. Put this aside, go to the next step. Get a big enough container that you use to season up meat in, ready. Keep the lime or lime juice near. Wash and prepare imported liver for cooking. Remove the liver from the package and then put it into the container. There's a thin film that's around the liver. Remove it to do this. Get a knife. Use the knife to hold the thin film and then rip it off. If you are unsure, do it like me. It is important that you remove this thin film that is on the liver. Cut one lime, squeeze lime juice on the imported liver. You could use one between two tablespoons lime juice instead. Or you could even use lemon juice instead. Squeeze lime juice on the liver. Use your hand with your fingers. Rub the lime juice on the liver. If you could, remove the lime seeds. If you know anything about me, which is a joke on lime, I don't like to wash meat like beef and certain meats I don't like to wash because in my opinion I think when you wash it you kind of wash out the nutrient. Pour some water on the liver with the lime juice and then use your hand with your fingers. Rub the imported liver clean. Liver is such a thing that if you don't wash it it's gonna make the meal kind of raw. That might make you feel upset. That might make you feel bad. Meaning like you want to throw up. It's important that you wash liver and kidney before you cook it. The best way to wash liver is to wash it with lime juice. Lime juice will wash the meat without burning out the nutrient. Plus lime juice is a good antibacterial liquid. This is good enough. Throw out the water that is in the bowl and then flash out this water. Put the liver into a colander. Allow it to drain. If you're in hurry, put the liver between your palm. Squeeze it to remove excess water. Cleaned and prepared imported liver. Go to the next step. Get a chopping board ready that you use for meat. I am using this red chopping mat. Get a sharp knife ready or you could use a cooking scissors. Next, cut one and a half inch between two inches liver chunks. To be honest, the liver can be any shape. Some people like to slice it, let it look like sliced liver, like little small pieces of sliced liver. The liver chunks usually should be as big as this, the size of two fingers put together. Some people like to cut chunks, like one inch between two inches square chunks. You know, some people just cut it up. At the end of the day, you want small pieces of liver chunks. One between two inches of small liver chunks. Cut liver as big as this. If you are unsure, do it like me. 
chop or cut one and a half inch between two inches, maybe two and a half inches liver chunks. This is a piece of liver that I didn't remove the film. If you cook the liver with a thin film on it, the piece of liver is gonna be chewy and you don't want that. This is cleaned, diced liver chunks. Cover it, put it aside, go to the next step. Put a medium-sized saucepan slash stew pot to heat. Turn the stove's flame gauge on four medium low. If inside of the pan is wet, dry it with a paper towel. Measure quarter cup cooking oil. I am using coconut oil. And then add the oil into the pan. Allow the oil to get hot for a few seconds. After 30 between 40 seconds and the cooking oil is hot somewhat, add diced onions from container one. Use a cooking spoon. Stir the diced onions in the oil. Allow it to saute golden brown on the side for 30 between 40 seconds. Add chopped scallion. Use a cooking spoon. Stir it in the oil. Allow it to saute 20 between 30 seconds. Add mashed garlic, use a cooking spoon, stir it, allow it to saute 20 seconds. Add the piece ginger, ginger is optional. It is not wise to add the dried pimento berries in the heating oil. Add it after you add the vegetable seasonings. Or if you add it in the oil, be sure you're gonna add the meat immediately after that. Add the clean and prepared imported liver chunks. Use a cooking spoon, stir it. And then, right after that, add the herbs from container one. Add all the seasonings in container one. The stove gauge is on four, medium low. Measure two cups water and have it near. Allow the imported liver to saute for a few seconds lid off. Use a cooking spoon, stir fry for a few seconds and then add two cups water in the pan. Use a cooking spoon, stir it. Next, measure one teaspoon browning and then put it in the pan. Usually I use one teaspoon. You could use quarter teaspoon browning more. At the end of the day, you don't want the water to be dark. You want it to have a nice brown color. Add French thyme. French thyme will make a meat meal delicious. Measure one tablespoon soy sauce, then add it in the saucepan. Use the pan or the pot's lid. Cover it fully, cover it properly. The stove's gauge is on four, medium, low, allow. This is how the imported liver looks after 15 minutes. Keep the lid covered within the time. Use a cooking spoon, stir it. This is the color brown that you want. French thyme is soft. Remove the French thyme after 15 minutes. You don't want to leave the French thyme in the stew and let it break up. After 15 minutes, all of the nutrients that's in the French thyme should come out into the stew. This is the color brown that you want. Use a pan's lid, cover it, allow. Put seasonings from container to near. After five minutes more, a total of 20 minutes stewing, use a cooking spoon, stir it. Add the seasonings from container to. Now would be a better time to add the salt. So add the salt, the salt is already in container number two. Add the salt, the herbs, and all the seasonings that is in container two. Use a cooking spoon, stir it. This is our imported liver. Cooking looks after 20 minutes. Measure a quarter teaspoon distilled white vinegar. I am using cider vinegar. You could use any flavored vinegar. Use a cooking spoon, stir it. Use the pan slash pot lid, cover it. The stove's gauge is on four, medium low, allow. After 10 minutes more, a total of 30 minutes stewing, stir it. Remember, keep the pan slash pot lid covered within a time, stir it. This is how the gravy looks after 30 minutes. The stew looks good, we are on the right track. Use the pan lid, cover it. Stove's gauge is still on four, medium low, allow. 
after five minutes more a total of 35 minutes stewing this is it measure two tablespoons between four tablespoons ketchup and then add the ketchup in the stew the ketchup will help thicken the stew and the ketchup in some way will also spruce the flavor use a cooking spoon stir the ketchup in the imported liver stew use the pan's lid cover it the stove's gauge is still on four medium low allow after five minutes more a total of 40 minutes use a cooking spoon stir it use the pan slash pot's lid cover it after three minutes more a total of 43 minutes i keep the pans lid covered within the time this is how you want the gravy to look the gravy is thickening i'm gonna let this stay for two more minutes after two minutes more a total of 45 minutes this is what i want to see i want to see the stew start sticking to the pans slash pots bottom this is it turn off stove flame finished use the pans lid cover it until serving before serving this imported liver brown stew use a cooking spoon stir up the meat moist up the meat and then take a scoop of this delicious looking imported liver brown stew i am laying it on two boiled dumplings on a plate this is imported liver brown stew aka brown stewed imported liver visit jamaicandinners.com jamaicancookings.com for the recipe you should try cooking imported liver this way with herbs it will taste delicious if you try it you will agree come back leave a comment subscribe like and share this is imported liver brown stew aka brown stewed imported liver if you cook this imported liver brown stew this way you will never know it's imported liver the flavor is delicious to spruce the flavor to another level you could add one teaspoon between one tablespoon of a1 sauce or use half teaspoon jerk seasoning instead i am enjoying eating this liver brown stew aka brown stewed imported liver imported liver is cheaper than local liver i paid 200 jamaican dollars that's around about a dollar 25 us for this liver megan until next time what good